Hi again then guys and welcome to another Forza Horizon 3 speed build and this time we are revisiting the Mitsubishi Evo lineup with I would say perhaps the best value Evo in the game. I know that's going to be hotly debated, people love the Evo 10, people love the older ones like the Evo 6 and all of them are fantastic, they really are all great in their own way. But the reason why I would say this one might be the best for me is that not only is it cheaper than most of the others, but it's at least as fast as most of them, if not quicker than some. So it's just that all-round package and value for money which puts this one slightly over the edge for me, although the Evo 8 and the Evo 6 are great rivals in that regard as well. Now as far as the engine swap, I would recommend the V8. Of course it's not a tune for purists. Anyone who's used my tunes before knows that all too well. That's not the point of these tunes, we're just trying to make it go essentially as fast as possible. Now as far as the drivetrain, of course you want to keep all-wheel drive, or at least that's what I'd recommend. For the Aspiration, I would also recommend the Twin Turbo to get the peak 1000 horsepower, or in the case of this car, over 1000 horsepower. For the visuals, of course, you have some very juicy options, rally style, more conventional tuning, that's all down to you. If you get this tune from my storefront, which this tune is on there in this exact spec, then of course you'll have to get that if you like the look. And you can use the keywords down below to find it. But if you want to do it yourself, of course you could just follow the rest of this tutorial and then fit whatever visuals you want. You could have it as more of a sleeper or more of a Fast and Furious style import or a rally car or whatever, time attack car even, which is technically what the livery on this one is. But then for the rest, of course you just want to do the obvious stuff, which is fit all of your racing parts. Lower the weight, improve the grip, increase the power, fit you know, race suspension, brakes, tyres, everything you can afford, pretty much. Now, as far as the benchmark, it's fast. Of course it's fast. It's an Evo with a 1,000 horsepower. 2 seconds to 60, technically 4.1 to 100, 259 flat out, which is pretty respectable for a car that isn't really designed for top-end speed. Now, for the gearbox, I'd recommend a final drive of 2.73, then individual gears of 2.9, 1.99, 1.5, 1.17, 0.95 and 0.77. Very familiar settings to anyone who's used my tunes before. For one thing, because you don't need to go that radical with an Evo, the performance pretty much takes care of itself. As far as the alignment, of course, we've got neutral camber and tow, as I often do. You can give it some though, if you want to. 5 degrees of caster, again very open to interpretation. Anti-roll I've got on 39 and 32, springs on 185, 152 and in keeping with the rally-esque appearance I've got the ride height as high as possible but you definitely don't need to do that, you can lower it if you want to. Dampers we've got on 15, 11, 7 and 5, aero of course doesn't apply and for the diff, as I often do, I've got 100% on acceleration but then zero on decel and a 75% centre split. And of course with something like an Evo, or any all-wheel drive car really, but especially one which is already designed to be all-wheel drive, that centre split will suit different people differently. So if you feel that you need to have it a bit more tail happy or a bit more going to the front end, of course you can change that around. That's the whole point of these tunes. You're not supposed to copy it exactly, although you can if you want to. I encourage people to change it up, try their own settings, or just have a bit of fun and see what works for you, or maybe what doesn't. But that's it for the tune overall, so now let's take it out on the road to see, most importantly, if it can actually reach that speed. Overall then, the performance on an Evo is never really that surprising. You expect it to be great, and it delivers. It is great, of course, but you might not typically expect an Evo to have the kind of top-end performance which they can have on Horizon. So it's pretty cool to see that, and this car definitely delivers in that regard. In fact, pretty much all of the Evos do. So, if you did enjoy using this tune, of course I would encourage you to check out more here on the channel, and you can see those by clicking through to the full list at the end of this video. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.